so me and Sheree are trying to figure out like what we want to do because going out with her as always the dude was can't out say it, it's me and, it's and so now it's like okay we're gonna go hang out with these guys that she met and you know me I'm just taking one for the team that I met that you met so who takes you out the restaurant that's different <laughs> hey guys good morning welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome don't forget to like comment subscribe if you are coming back welcome back uh today's thursday and normally i would have started vlogging earlier than today but i've been on the phone all day with freedom mortgage and let me, let me, let me, let me turn this down so y'all can hear me right we already had a conversation a few vlogs ago about customer service y'all know I am big on customer service it doesn't matter how great a quality product you have if your customer service is trash people are not gonna want to work with you like we there are just known companies that are just great for their customer service and quality product ie Starbucks Chick-fil-A, Zaxby's, um, Delta Airlines, Apple, T-Mobile, like places that are just, they are known for the customer service that they give. Then you have other places that are known for their terrible customer service and that's why we pretty much avoid them. McDonald's, Burger King, Metro PCS, like Freedom Mortgage, is now one of those companies great products in the beginning customer service trash i am re in the middle of refinancing my home and i that was back in may it's july we've been doing this for three months it has taken them three months to close my loan i never barely ever talked to the same person more than once can't get anybody on the phone Everything that they told me when I first got with them is now completely different now that we're at the finish line and about to close. <clears throat> completely different. Numbers way different than the original numbers. Higher. And for a person like me, who is truly big on customer service, like, I just, I just don't understand it. Like, prime example they ended up giving me someone who I talked to giving me a lower interest rate because it was taking my loan so long to close and because the customer service was trash but then turned around didn't tell me that there was a charge for that but then turned around and charged me for it it's like oh like it'll give you a lowest interest rate it'll give you a lower payment da 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 Literally, the difference in the payment from my first original conversation to now is literally only a difference of $10, number one. Number two, <laughs> they did not tell me that them giving me something as a courtesy for how they did me, they were then gonna charge me for on the back end. So now I'm paying almost a whole nother thousand dollars for their, to me, for the terrible customer service. <laughs> what? <laughs> Then the lady who was supposed to close my loan yesterday, the date that she gave me, she didn't close it. So then the lady calls me today and says, oh, that date is no longer available. We can do the next day because every day it rolls over a day. I'm not gonna be in town that next day. <laughs> so I can get an extension, but I have to pay for the extension. Why do I have to pay for an extension because your person didn't do what they said they were gonna do and and put in the time and the date for when it needed to be. Make it make sense. Dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> am I the only 
only person where like terrible customers, it just literally makes you laugh. You just get to a point where you just get like so angry and you get so fed up. You just you just can't just came do anything but laugh because it's just hilarious that there are companies and people out here that are really doing this to customers. Like my entire reasoning for going with them is now been completely flipped because everything that they said in the beginning is not what it is now. So it's like, okay, essentially you hoodwinked me because I went with you because you had A, B, C. And now we're three months later, mind you, doesn't take three months to close a loan. Three months later, we're at the finish line and now you're telling me, oh no, A, B, C, oh that was just that, but we're actually doing X, Y, Z. Okay, well I'm not down with X, Y, Z, but now we're at the finish line, so I kinda don't have a choice. Hoodwink. You should not be walking away from a company or an experience feeling like you got hoodwinked. I just do not understand the concept of how people do not understand great customer service. Maybe it's because I've always worked for companies where customer service is key. <laughs> I've always worked in the service industry. I have always, I'm a Libra. I'm kind of somewhat of a people pleaser. Like, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. So yeah, that is my mini morning rant because I have literally, what time is it? It is, it is 1033. I have been on the phone dealing with these people since eight o'clock this morning. Yeah, not the way that I wanted to wake up. So yeah, I'm about to go to the gym and work off this stress. In other news, super excited guys. So I don't know, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, Follow your girl on Instagram, Miss underscore J Rabbit. Um, you probably saw a post that I made a few weeks ago, not even a few weeks ago, probably like, probably like two weeks ago, um, about needing a new waist trainer because my other one, let me find it. My one that I had, which was this one, which I love, it has links and I started on the first link. Started on the first link and then ended up at the third really quickly. And then it zips and then it has a middle strap. This is a small, small? Yeah, this is a small by a company called Hoplin. I'll link it in the uh, description box. Had this, didn't need anymore. The small is actually too big. You can actually go back and look at some of my vlogs where you can see that I had that wrap pulled all the way and it wasn't working, right? So, I needed an extra small. Well, trying to find an extra small on Amazon was just crazy. So I made a post on Instagram. Everybody was like, yeah, no, they don't have them. Like, I'm super teeny and I've tried, like, the girls came through with comments. It's amazing how as soon as I made that, these phones be listening, y'all, these phones be listening. As soon as I made that post, Later that day, all of a sudden, I start seeing ads on Instagram and notifications from Amazon of waist, waist belts in a small, extra small. Really? I've been searching for two weeks trying to find a company and found nothing. Now all of a sudden I make a post on Instagram and they start popping up. These phones be listening. So this one, is actually based off the measurements that I ordered. I originally ordered an extra, extra small because that's what it said. No, it didn't fit at all. I had to send it back and get an extra small based off the measurements. So whatever size their measurements tell you that you need, go up a size. I actually really did need an extra small. So this one is the same way. It has three hooks. We are definitely starting on hook number one. But what I like about this one is that it has three straps so let me show you all this one here so i already have my waist belt on underneath you know what i'm saying you girl look at ooh, ooh. so i am starting on hook number one again with this one like i said down a size starting on hook number one All the hooks, we're starting on number one. This has these that you can pull straps.
and I'm really excited about this one at the bottom because this is gonna help me get my little my little pooch that I have at the bottom. A little pooch. So yeah. So this is my new one. It's by, like I said, a company called Faye T. Again, I'll put the link in the description box. But we're gonna see how this one goes. It's an extra small. <laughs> Many hours later. Hey y'all. So I just got in from Mr. Crab Hut. Crab Hut, Crab Hut, I don't like that. Um, you guys have an S or it doesn't have an S, I don't know. Um, I just really want some seafood. It is so good. I really don't even need to be eating this shit um, because I have a trial haul tomorrow and this can be kind of salty. So, you know how that goes. Might retain a little water, but I've been drinking a lot of water today, so. But yeah, let me show y'all. Oh, it's so good. Put the egg, corn, the shrimp, crabs. It's so good. <laughs> seven something I set my alarm for seven because I needed to get my day started early today because today is a full social media day so I have to get up and I need to go to the gym and then hurry up and come back and like get my makeup and stuff done because Lonnie and Kix are coming over here at 11 to film finally filming a swimsuit haul video and I was gonna do this just as just a regular try on haul for a brand but I decided to do it as a rate buy because I haven't had a rate buy on a channel in a while and so I'm gonna do it with both of them um so yeah so they're coming at 11 and then as soon as I we finish wrap that up I'm going with kicks out to Norcross where he lives to do a video with him. I'll link that video in the description box because I'm pretty sure his video will be up before this vlog is up because he normally like edits and puts up within like a day or two of filming something. Um, and then probably gonna be out there for most of the day and then I may or may not be leaving tonight to go to a concert in Cincinnati. I don't know yet, so we'll see. We'll definitely keep y'all updated. Cause the concert's actually tomorrow, but I might leave today or I might leave in the morning. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But get ready, get up, get my day started, and go to the gym. Oh, you wanna know what's hilarious? Let me tell you. hilarious. Why is there a fake Instagram page about me? So like one of my friends called me last night and I really wasn't even about to answer the phone because I just didn't really, really feel like talking to anybody last night. But I was like, let me, let me, let me, let me just call. They were like, oh my God, it's a page about you. And I'm just like, wait, what? Are you out here selling pussy? And I'm just like, uh, first of all, no, you know that's not true. Second of all, what the hell are you talking about? So they like send me stuff. The person has me blocked, so I couldn't see it. So they had to like send me like screenshots of everything. So if you guys see this page, go report this page. It's it's my same Instagram, but with two underscores after it. So Miss 
underscore J rabbit underscore underscore. Hopefully by the time this vlog goes up, that page has already been deleted and reported because someone else sent me an Instagram DM this morning saying, telling me like, hey, this page, like I reported it, blah, blah, because I know it's not you. And it's like, yes. So, I, and I haven't even said anything about it. I didn't like rush and like get mad or anything last night and like post it like, oh my God, y'all gonna report this page because I honestly don't care. Like, if someone is that bored and that miserable to make a fake page about me, all I do is drink water and mind my business. So if if someone if someone wants to make a fake page about me, then okay. And it especially what makes it even more hilarious. This is what makes it even more hilarious is that it's a it's a porn page. So it's like it's soliciting sex. So it's like what? It's like anyone who knows anything about me, even if you're just like a subscriber, not even like a personal, personal friend of me, if you know anything about me, you know that I'm celibate. So to make a porn page about me is like, that's literally the dumbest thing you could have ever done. Like. Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Are you, dumb. like medically speaking, are you like, like I'm not trying to be mean. Like, are you dumb? Are you? D I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think is she. Do you think oh, she's? She's, she's dumb. dumb. Like, like what? Like anybody who knows, like, make it make sense. So for the people out there who are following that page and subscribing to the persons, because it's not like a OnlyFans. It's like some other like sex website who are who are uh, who are. Uh, applying to this person's website and or subscribing I should say and paying money to see whoever it is that they're seeing because it ain't me <laughs> more power to you go ahead and waste your money honey because y'all know for a fact it ain't me because I'm celibate so hello <laughs> Good morning, Hey guys, so I am headed to Norcross to go film with D. Um, we just got done filming for my channel. I did, um, I've done like a battle of the YouTubers with uh, him and Lonnie Frenarios, whatever you want to call him. Um, by the time this vlog gets uploaded, that video will already be up, so make sure you go back and check out that video. The Raid Mind with both of them. It's a swimsuit. It's this awful swimsuit try on haul slash Raid Mind with both of them. Um, finally did a, a swimsuit one for the summertime. Um, I know a lot of you guys were asking for that. And I had planned on doing a swimsuit one for the summer anyway because I needed a new swimsuit. Like, the fuck? Like, the bitches out here, like, can find in the gym. Like, of course I'm going to do swimsuits. Hello, swimsuits all year round. Like, what? <laughs> when you say ready, you don't have to get ready, okay? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so now I'm headed to Norcross, which is like 45 minutes away. Uh, but you know, it's all about the team. Megan, we're gonna say he came down to me, so now I'm going to him. 
and we're gonna film if you're not already following him make sure you follow him um, Art of Kicks is his reaction channel and then he also has um, another YouTube channel called A Different Perspective which he does um, more like conversation based type stuff and so a lot of times he'll try to want to get like a female's opinion on stuff so I'm coming to do that so yeah social media wise so we are here getting some food because that 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 baby was hungry he called me was like Jess you you hungry he's so hungry <laughs> So I was over kicks and we were filming and whatnot, and we were talking about like men and in, like insecure men essentially. Y'all know what the hell I've been dealing with. If you haven't, go look at the vlogs. Um, and just insecurities as a whole, like men and women. But this is a question that I've always had, and then he brought it up, and I felt like when I asked him, he really couldn't answer, or the answer he gave just it just didn't add up. So I don't know what y'all think. Like, why do people feel some type of way about social media as far as like women and like what they post or whatever? Like if you're dating a super bad chick, what's the difference between her posting a picture and she got hella dudes in her DMs versus this same chick who can go out to the grocery store and like 10 dudes holler at her while she's in the grocery store. At the end of the day, it's, this is my, this, this, this is to me, this is my opinion, y'all tell me. At the end of the, it's about the person and the character. And if they are a person who is one, an opportunist who is just being with someone because they're just waiting around with that person until the next best thing comes, or they are someone who just like loves the attention, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, whether you got a girlfriend and like I said, she posts a picture, she's super hot. You know, she get, you know, 10 dudes who hop in her DMs trying to holler at her. It's up to her as to if she responds, if she checks it, and if she does choose to respond, what she responds with. 
it's no different than if that same girl who is still the same super bad chick that you got online if she's the same super bad chick out in public if she went to the grocery store and 10 dudes try to holler at her what she says back to those 10 dudes dictates what happens they try to holler at her she shuts them down Dudes on social media, they try to holler, she shuts them down. It's the same thing. <laughs> I mean, granted, our access to people has changed a little bit more as far as putting ourselves out there and the, you know, like the how far that reach can go and who it can go to. But what the hell is the damn difference? Like, I don't just other how people feel so much about social media. Like, a person is gonna do what they wanna do regardless social media or and all but dudes really be feeling some type of way about a girl and like how on social media and it's like I, you know, I say this all the time you know everybody wants a bad bitch until they actually get a bad bitch what are you so insecure about that you have this person like I literally had some last show in the video I, I'll link that video in the description box I showed him a text from him. It was like, oh you're the miss you're famous miss J rabbit you wasn't thinking about little old me what you mean what you were so busy thinking that you're one of 50 instead of one of one that you talked yourself out of you know what i'm saying like and so when i asked you this he he gave me an answer but he was just like no nah, that's not the same like it's not the same and i'm just like okay y'all tell me what y'all think do y'all think it's the difference between if you're in a relationship with somebody Particularly talking about women, but if you're a, a if you're a chick with a dude, if you got ten dudes in her inbox trying to holler at her, versus you got ten dudes in person at the grocery store trying to holler at her, what is the damn difference? Let me know. Let let let's talk about it, cause I, I need answers, like today. Hey guys, good morning. It is Saturday. I am getting ready to head to brunch with Sheree. You remember her from one of my other vlogs. Um, so yeah, some simple, real cute. This is two piece yellow set that I got off of Amazon. Make sure to check my past videos. I'll put the link in the description box as well for this outfit. So some cute, some light, very brunchy two-piece sets like I told you guys just some clear heels jewelry and what am I wearing oh and I'm wearing YSL black opium there we go you see girls getting skinny y'all see this oh look at this look at the waist look at the arms oh Jim coming through Jim coming through Jim coming through hey <laughs> I ain't got no sense Okay. <laughs> oh, so 
so me and Sheree are trying to figure out like what we want to do because going out with her as always the dude was can't out say it, it's me and, it's and so now it's like okay we're gonna go hang out with these guys that she met and you know me I'm just taking one for the team that I met that you met so who takes you out the restaurant that's different <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> down these guys wanted like buy us drink you y'all y'all saw that part right so leaving with them leaving because you know dudes can't just buy you drinking it's like oh hey leaving they tried to they, we we it mistakenly the waitress told us it was the table behind us it was actually the table in front of us like well in front of me behind her so we the whole time we didn't even know that the dudes that kept weirdly staring at us that whole time they were the ones who bought the drink. My back was to them, so I mean. So I they know. said something on the way out, right? So you know we you know, exchange numbers like other hey like hey where, where are you going? Boogaloo. Boogaloo. They were like hey we're going to Boogaloo. Then we're going. That's it, right? That's I all think I just said Boogaloo. So they're going to Boogaloo. Y'all should come. Blah blah. We're like, all right, cool. So then, you know, we finishing up, you know, they kicked us out because they feel like Shreya was taking too long drinking her drink. And it's like, They what? got a 90 minute limit. And so. And it's like, excuse me, she paid for this drink. Like, what the fuck? Well, she well actually drinking. I didn't. Oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> technically. Technically. I didn't. Technically she didn't. But, you know. But we understand because it is kind of busy. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they busy. See? See what I'm saying? Look, look, look. What? Them not the ones that check. But I mean, they're listen. not even. Y'all, yeah. this dude right here is so Yeah, cool. he looking too. He, yeah. Man. One listen. got on an STL head. STL, hope. If y'all didn't know, she's Louis. from St. Louis. <laughs> so then, as we're leaving, so we've taken some pictures in front of the uh, Toast to a Good Life sign, all kind of stuff, whatever. And we see everybody like watching us, whatever. So we leave, and I guess the dude says he was trying, he was yelling at me as I was leaving, but I was into my phone doing something I ain't noticed. I walked out the door. He was saying something when we even walked over to take the picture. Did he? Okay, yeah. I didn't notice it. Yeah, I just. The table. I wasn't paying attention. Well, I heard him. Yeah, I was in my phone. I wasn't paying no attention. So he chased us outside. He we chased like, oh. her outside. He chased me outside. Thank you. And so he was like, oh, you know, we're going to. What are you saying? They're going Somewhere to in Allure. the hive. Oh, they're going to hide and then Allure. Hide. And all kind of is stuff. it hide or hide? Hide. Hide. Okay. Hide. I've never been before. I just always wanted to go. Oh, no. Oh, it's so nice. If you're ever in Atlanta, hide. Hide. Just, hide. Either hide lounge and cocktails or hide cocktails and lounge. Something like that. It's super dope. Super nice. Um, it's right like in the, like what we consider like the heart he of Buckhead. He keep looking. You gonna come over here or not, bruh? Oh, the dude? Yeah. It's, it's this dude because we're sitting in her car <laughs> while we're trying to figure out this move. And it's this guy, super fine, was like, he keeps standing at us in the car and it's like, bro, like, you, you gonna stay or you gonna, gonna stay or you gonna say something? Like, what? You know what? But so, me and Sheree were having a conversation in the comment section, let us know. Why is it always the guy? That's, this is her saying this. I'm not, I do not, I did not say this. Okay, I said, her. I said, why is it always the guys that are like super attractive that are the ones that don't approach women? That's not my experience. So this That's is not my experience. experience. Why is it always the ones that are super attractive that don't approach women? But the men who, depending on everyone's type or taste, or who we would deem like not attractive. Look like roaches. Are, <laughs> are the ones that do approach because literally it was like dang like for all the girls if you're at toast on linux honey this is where the maybe and some fine men some fine men in toast on linux but like the men who i <laughs> i deemed like super like attractive none of them tried to holler it was everybody who you know just like now perfect example D dude but he was just he was fine as hell but he didn't say nothing. He just kept staring and, and see, got his I ass in the I car. I didn't think he was fine as hell. No, he was taller. He had muscles. I mean, yeah. To each his own. But yeah, I, we need to know. Like, why? Why is it the the men? She who, need to know. I need to know. <laughs> why is it the men who like are super attractive seem to be the ones that don't really perform like that? 
We need answers. She need answers. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's literally like almost 11 o'clock had a long day I've been out all day long <laughs> that um, have an even longer day tomorrow so filming episode 2 of out of luck tomorrow as well as I have to do some real estate stuff tomorrow and I got to do something with this hair because it is looking mad crazy as well as go to the gym as well as pack because I'm traveling this week. I'm going to Catalina Island this week. So yeah, your girl was tired, but I had a good time. Like those two places we went to, like Toast on Linux was a place that I've been trying to go to forever. If you're ever in Atlanta, definitely visit it. The food, amazeballs. The ambiance, amazeballs. The service, amazeballs. The wait time, hmm. But it's just it's just it's just that popping. So that's really only the downside. It's just the wait time, and that was actually like on a slow day, like on like tomorrow on a Sunday. Oh, they be popping, popping. So yeah. And then the region that was actually a cool little vibe too. So oh my god, y'all look at my damn hair. Look at this shit. So if you're ever in Atlanta and you're going to the region, piece of advice: go at like. Six, seven, more six. Cause it's not that packed. Cause it's it's first come first serve when it comes to seating. So they have like bar seating, they have uh, tabletop seating, they have like little table seating, and then they have like where me and Trey were sitting, like couches and stuff like that. So it's first come first serve. So like this is a Saturday, a Saturday, and we went at like six ish, six thirty. And we were able to just go straight in, find somewhere to sit, chill. But run by like eight-ish, it starts getting packed. Like people who are obviously like kind of pre-gaming before they go out, out, or that's what they're deciding to go out for the night. Um, and, it, and it was people like literally like looking for a place to sit. It was like packed. So like I said, thank God we had that seating already because when you get in there, we're starting to pass nowhere to sit. So, piece of advice, if you're ever in Atlanta, going to the region, it's over in Buckhead Shops, it's in Buckhead. Go 
go run my light six six thirty. So you guys want to sit? But yeah, I am about to do some real estate stuff on the computer really quick to prepare for tomorrow, and then I'm going to bed because I'm tired. I was supposed to have a video go up today. It's obviously not. I was supposed to finish editing it today. That's not happening because it's late. So I'm going to have to just get up dumb early and just hit the ground running tomorrow. See y'all in the morning. Hey guys, good morning. It is Sunday, it's early, it's like 6.30. Um, I'm headed to go view the location of a property for a client. Um, and this is one of those days where I have to start super early because there's literally not enough hours in the day with everything that I have to get done today. Got my rider with me. Say hi. She's literally about to be knocked out because I woke her up to come out. So, yeah. Let's go to Decatur. <laughs> Jesus. Hey guys, so we are back. Um, I just pulled up to the shooting location for today. We are shooting episode two of the new series that I'm in. So as you can see, nurse Melissa. Um, so yeah, I think I'm here a little early because there's only two other cars here. So I think I'm a little early. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, let's go inside, give you guys some more behind the scenes. <laughs> grocery store real quick after filming it's like don't even let me get the line y'all what time is it it is 9 34 i started my day at 6 a.m and surprisingly even for myself i got everything done that i needed to get done except pack for my trip to LA tomorrow. So what I'm gonna try to do right now is be able to pack and shower and get into bed still by 10. I got 26 minutes. <laughs> I, got, I got 26 minutes to try to be pack, shower, into bed, into bed by 10. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. It has been a busy weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Stay tuned for all of my future vlogs. And don't forget to like, comment, share, definitely subscribe. Go back, watch my old vlogs. If you feel like you were lost on something, get yourself up to speed. Um, glad you guys got to get behind the scenes with filming out of luck. Um, so yeah, thank you all for subscribing to me and watching me. I love you guys so much. But uh, Nurse Melissa, is uh she tired 
and she, and she about to call it a night. Bye.